Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my updated summer curly hair routine. It is super hot and humid here in DC and I have switched up some techniques so I can't wait to share with you guys. At this point, my hair is completely cleansed. I've shampooed and conditioned. I'm gonna go ahead and start to detangle it and then apply some leave-in conditioner. You guys know this is my holy grail from Garnier Fructis. It is their leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna apply it in sections so that my hair gets it evenly and it is distributed throughout all my hair. After applying the leave-in conditioner, I'm moving with the Maui Moisture Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie. This is one of my favorite products. Before I wasn't using this product because I felt like it was weighing my curls too much and it was the winter time and it was just too heavy. But now that we're back in the summer, I'm gonna go ahead and use it again. As you guys can see, my curls are super defined. I'm gonna go ahead and rake it as much as possible. I sometimes forget to apply the products at the roots of my hair, so I really take the time to rake it in and to really allow the curl pattern to form. So I haven't actually gotten a haircut or trim in about four months and as you guys can tell my curls are getting longer but also the curl pattern has changed a bit. The longer my curls get the looser my hair is. So you guys can see that it looks a bit wavier so it's really important after raking that I'm going to go ahead and crunch and you guys will see that at the end. But I'm going to go ahead and continue applying the products all throughout my curls just to repeat the process. Oh, guys, seriously, these products are my favorite combo. They work so well together. They're both very heavy creams, so if that doesn't work for you guys, I would definitely avoid it. But because my curls are thicker, they love all the moisture that it gets from these products. In order for me to get maximum amount of definition and less frizz, I really like to section my hair in the front of my face into smaller pieces and really rake the product in. As you guys can see, as I'm raking, I'm also smoothing out the curls. This really helps the products to get in there and to really form that perfect curl. At the same time, I'm also kind of finger coiling the curl around my fingers. And as I mentioned before, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and crunch to get that curl pattern. The key to not letting your curls get weighed down is to start with less product and later on to add on if you feel like you need more or to add some more definition. You don't want your curls to feel heavy after you finish drying and diffusing and feeling like you have really flat hair. I'm telling you guys, crunch as much as possible. I used to be so afraid of doing this because I thought it created frizz, but after diffusing, I saw the best results. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on with Diva Curls Archangel Gel. I actually switched to this product after using the Ultra Defining Gel for so long. I felt like this product gave my hair so much definition with minimum hold. It is by far my favorite gel out there. Honestly, I swear guys, it's such a good product. You guys have to try it out. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and continue raking it and crunching, continuing that process again and again until I feel like my curls are perfect. Not gonna lie, I really need a trim, but can you guys see that length? I am so excited. It's so hard for me to make this decision. But now I'm gonna go ahead and continue with diffusing. As you guys know, I love using the Diva Curl Blow Dryer, and then I attach the Curly Co Diffuser on top. This is my favorite combo. I just love, love, love this diffuser because it fits all my hair, and I love how manageable it is, and I can take it anywhere I want. The settings are currently on cool and on low speed. I like to start with the cool temperature and then work my way up to warm. Because it's the summertime, my hair gets super, super dry, so I'm only gonna diffuse for about an hour, and then I'm gonna let it air dry for the rest of the time. I don't know about you guys, but diffusing is my least favorite part. At this point, my curls are about 70% dry. I like to then go ahead and use the scarf that I stole from my mom, and you guys have seen it all over my Instagram and YouTube, but I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot on the top of my head, and then tie and secure it at the bottom of the scarf. This really allows the curls to form and to set. This is something I like to add into my routine in the summer when there's a lot of humidity. After doing some chores around the house, I'm gonna go ahead and let my curls out and undo the knots. This is honestly the best results I've had in a long time. As you guys can see, there's a lot of coils. It is the best feeling knowing I had a good result after a wash day. As you guys can see now, I really need to loosen up the curls and add some oils. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the High Shine from Diva Curl. This is a multi-benefit oil. It has so much shine and adds the best finish to my curls. I think the best thing about this product is its lightweight formula. A lot of you guys struggle with finding the right oil to add to your hair because it weighs you down and I highly recommend this one. 
Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use my hair pick and pick my curls from the root only to get a lot of volume. As you guys can see, my hair grew. Uh, my curls are shiny, bouncy, and defined. Alright guys, these are the final results from my summer updated curly hair routine. As you guys know, the humidity and heat is just increasing here in the DC area and so I need to really protect my curls and use products that work for this temperature. I will have all the products that I use listed in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check them out. But I'm sure these are not the first time you guys are hearing these products, but they are working perfectly for my hair. I honestly haven't gotten results like this in a long time. As you guys can see, they're super bouncy and defined, and I'm so happy with the results. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be coming out with more videos more frequently, so I hope you guys have subscribed and have turned on the post notification. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time.